Good afternoon. Uh, Javier Becerra, Attorney General for the State of California. Pleased to be joined today by Under Sheriff Don Barnes here at the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Uh, we also have some folks that are standing behind us. They are only part of the team that makes all of this work. I'd like to introduce some of the folks that come out of the uh, Department of Justice's Division of Law Enforcement uh, team, and I'll leave it to Under Sheriff uh, Barnes to introduce some of his folks as well. Uh, we have with us uh, the Chief of the Division of Law Enforcement at DOJ, uh, Kevin Gardner, who is with us. We have also the Director of the Bureau of Investigation, John Marsh, and I see Louis here as well. Louis Lopez is a special agent of the Division of Law Enforcement. He was one of those in charge of the operations that we're talking, uh, we'll be talking about today for the, the Division of Law Enforcement at the DOJ. We've been working as well, uh, not just with the uh, Sheriff's Department here at Orange County, but also with California Highway Patrol. So I want to acknowledge the work of the good men and women at CHP as well, uh, who made all of this possible uh, to try to make life a little safer and better for folks throughout the state of California, but certainly here in the county of Orange. For the last two months, our teams have been hard at work investigating the Mexican Mafia and the Sureño criminal street gang. Working as a team, these various law enforcement agencies have I can report to you now, arrested 85 individuals, you can see here, here, seized 36 firearms, including assault weapons, seized 14 pounds of methamphetamines, three pounds of heroin, recovered two stolen weapons, and I can also announce that the intelligence gained through this investigation has helped us to prevent a number of violent crimes including attempted murder. These results are not just important to those of us in law enforcement and certainly to the State Department of Justice, which must oversee all of law enforcement in the state of California. They are important to me as a father, as I suspect they're important to the men and women who are here and who participate in this operation, who also are parents, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, uh, it is important to anyone who wants to know that the neighborhoods are safe day in, day out for their kids to go to school, for us to go to work, and for us to be able to come home safely. All families in California deserve to know that their loved ones, especially their children, are safe. They deserve to be able to engage in all the things that we got to do when we were young. They deserve to be able to give to their families a chance to think about what comes next, college, a future, not what's waiting for you outside. The arrests that we announced today are proof of what is possible when law enforcement works as a team throughout the state of California. Because I think uh, everyone standing with me here would uh, attest to you that law enforcement is a team effort. Uh, the more we work as a team, the more we get done together. For us, there is no mission more important than public safety. That's what we're sworn to do, and that's exactly what we have done in this announcement today. I want to again thank the brave men and women who made all of this possible, possible, the people who engaged in the undercover investigative work, the people who were out on the streets at night, the people who were collecting the evidence, the people who were uh, undercover and doing some of the most dangerous work, the people who went out and actually apprehended the individuals who were arrested, and of course the people that we'll now rely on to prosecute this case to the very end. Every one of them deserves our gratitude for the work that they do, but again, uh, I think as all of us in law enforcement would tell you, that's job one, to do, do that work of making our community safe. And the more we do it as a team, the greater our success. With that, I'd like to turn it over now to Under Sheriff Don Barnes of the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Thank you, Attorney General. First, thank you everybody for coming here today. This is a, a, a long endeavor for law enforcement in Orange County. 
and what we've accomplished. The Orange County Sheriff's Department has many facets that we perform in law enforcement. And the public many sees, uh, they oftentimes see those through direct patrol or school resource officers or other things that we provide. But we also have a team of dedicated individuals who work behind the scenes in undercover operations and special investigative units who are um, targeted at disrupting criminal gang enterprises throughout Orange County. We're collaboratively, as the Attorney General said, with other agencies up and down the state. Today we're here to share and talk about our collaborative effort that's come to fruition as a result of investigation started uh, back on December 25th, Christmas Day of 2016, that was a murder that occurred within San Juan Capistrano. That case started and has branched off into one of the largest investigative operations in Orange County Sheriff's Department history, working with and collaborating with law enforcement agencies throughout Orange County and throughout California. In partnership with the California uh, Department of State Department of Justice, uh, the Sheriff's Department's gang enforcement teams, narcotics teams, tactical teams, special operations and special investigations details, led an investigation that affected numerous arrests, intercepted drugs, weapons, narcotics proceeds, and prevented innumerable additional crimes from occurring. As of this morning, as the Attorney General have stated, we have arrested 85 people in connection with this investigation. Charges have been brought against these individuals for conspiracy, assault with a deadly weapon, weapons violations, sales of narcotics, transportation of narcotics for sale, conspiracy to transport drugs into the jail, forgery, fraud, and most of the individuals are being charged with criminal street gang enhancements. As mentioned before, the investigation uh, also resulted in the seizure of 25 handguns, four assault rifles, three shotguns, four rifles, three pounds of heroin, more than 14 pounds of methamphetamine, counterfeit money, credit card readers used for economic crimes, two stolen vehicles, and collected $40,195 in illegally obtained currency. As of April 23rd, we have served 37 search warrants in connection with this investigation. The search warrants have been for GPS tracking, search warrants of individuals, and their residences. As a result of the investigation, the South Gang Enforcement Team and the California Department of Justice filed 31 cases with the Orange County District Attorney's Office and two cases with the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. We share this information not to scare the public but to remind the residents of Orange County that these are, this is a reality we face. Criminal gang enterprises still continue to prey upon our community and we have to do everything we can to fight back and make our community safe. While these arrests and seizures are significant, they are just a drop in the bucket compared to the widespread control that the Mexican Mafia has over gang activity throughout Southern California. Groups like the Mexican Mafia and other criminal gangs know how to take advantage of our criminal justice system, the removal of accountability from our laws, particularly with regard to drug and property crimes only empowers career criminals to further victimize the people within our community. Yet while the, our laws may make it more difficult to hold offenders accountable, law enforcement's resolve and innovative efforts to stop their illicit activity remains unchanged. The actions of gangs and their criminal enterprise perpetuate violence, profit off addiction, defraud and steal from our citizens, and terrorize our communities. Their actions will always be met with the vigilant and persistent work of the men and women of the Orange County Sheriff's Department in collaboration with public safety agencies throughout our communities and throughout the state. With that, we'll open it up for questions.